What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mom Sigus Gaming and Season 2 of Modern Warfare 2 saw the addition of the new assault rifle, the ISO Hemlock, and in this video we'll be checking out to see if it is overpowered or not. And anytime you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button, 15 call of duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell and join notification squad. Without further ado, let's get around to it. Alright everybody, what's going on? Here we are on the map Cronway Raceway as we get a kill, and of course with the new weapon, the ISO Hemlock. Let's inspect it first. Alright, there it goes. Okay, okay. It's pretty much the same as every other weapon, nothing unique to be honest. That's quite disappointing, but that's fine, that's fine. Pretty much every weapon in this game has the same inspect animation. But yeah, here we are on the map, Cranway Racing, of course, on the new game mode grind. Come on. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Oh, come on, game, what? But yeah, here we are on the new game mode grind that was introduced in Season 2. And it's pretty much the same as Kill Confirmed. However, you don't just collect the dog tags and that's it. You have to collect the dog tags. Oh, oh. Boom, there it goes. And you have to bank them at either A or B. And that's how you earn points. The team with the most points wins the game. It is as simple as that. However, this video is not about the new game mode. Instead, it's actually about the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. And now I'm not going to see here and lie to you guys. Oh, oh, let me get that quickly. Okay, beautiful. Oh, snap, oh, snap, oh, snap. Boom, there it goes. That's another kill. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Double kill. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared. I got three dog tags. Let's go bang them quickly. But yeah, um, this assault rifle, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have used it a bit. I did level it to about a level 11 as I bank my dog tags. Okay, beautiful. But yeah, it is currently around level 11 or something like that, which means I don't have all the amazing attachments, but that's the point. Okay, that's what I wanted because let's be honest, any weapon in this game with the right attachments can be overpowered. Oh, oh. Boom, there it goes, this guy was trying to do his launcher challenges Nope And as I get killed from behind, but that's fine But like I was saying, any weapon with the right attachments can be overpowered To know if a weapon is truly overpowered is you need to use it without any attachments Or use it with the not so good attachments And that's when you know if the weapon is overpowered And that's what we're doing here While I am using some attachments, none of them are exactly the meta or overpowered attachments But still, so far this weapon has been absolutely good if I say so myself Oh, oh. boom, there it goes, that's a kill, let's go baby Oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. Boom, there it goes. That's another kill. That's what I'm talking about. Where is A? Where is A? Oh, no, A got removed. The only way to bank it is if you go to B. Not like this game, not like this. But yeah, first of all, I have to tell you guys some positives and negatives about this weapon. The very first positive that I'm gonna say to you guys is the fact that it comes with 30 magazine stock. As you guys know, that is always amazing, which means you don't have to waste an attachment on magazine to increase it to 45 or 30 or anything like that. No, it already comes stock with 30 and that is always amazing. Also, I must say the damage of this weapon is quite good. Boom, there it goes. This guy tried to camp not when i'm using the iso hemlock baby as i earned the overwatch halo let's go boom there it goes and there it goes i just level up to level 12 oh oh boom there it goes another kill but yeah alongside that the also the damage of this weapon is absolutely lethal okay it does so much damage it's not even funny the rate of fire of this weapon is quite good as well you find yourself getting that kill very very easily Oh, boom, there it goes, another kill baby, let's go, and I've earned the stealth bomber as well I'm telling you guys, this weapon is really good, okay, seriously, the damage of it, the rate of fire is is really good Okay, we get a victory, that was quite a very quick game, let's get in the second game Alright everybody, here we are in our second game with the ISO Hemlock And like I was saying in the previous game, not only is the damage of this weapon very good But also, like I said, the rate of fire is quite good you find yourself getting the kill very very easily just like that you see it only took six bullets to get that kill and that is absolutely amazing so in terms of that everything is good however the only thing that i'm gonna say that is not very good the negative about this weapon the iron sight of this weapon is really not that good okay oh boom there it goes beautiful let's go as we got two kills right there but yeah, as you guys are seeing i'm currently using an attachment for the iron sight because the iron sight is not very good i'm using the aim op4 optic oh 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 where is this guy going where is the guy going come here come here baby come here come here all right let's go let's go let's go let's go and let's go execution baby boom Let's go, okay. And I'll show you exactly what I mean once I respawn. You can see the optic is really, really not that good, okay? It is quite actually terrible if I say to myself. Boom, there it goes. But yeah, here is the answer, okay? Now, yes, I know it's not exactly the worst answer ever. However, it is kind of a bit, a tiny bit obstructing your view on the left and the right. For example, if you're looking at a long door or anything like that, the things on the left and right can actually obstruct your view. If you are far away from that door, it can actually obstruct like look at that look at that you see on the left hand side i can't see if an enemy just appears from that side i'm blocking a bit of that door and i can't see so that's why i'm telling you guys the answer is not exactly the best now like i said it's not the worst of course no i've seen much much worse on sites however i would definitely recommend if you guys use an optic it is much much better it will just help you and it will make it much much easier to get that kill and boom there it goes we get a kill with the on site boom all right all right Where's the guy going? Nowhere. Let's go triple kill. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely amazing, okay? The weapon is really good, okay? Seriously, if you haven't used it, you need to use it. It is a very, very good weapon, okay? So far, we've... Oh, oh. 
Boom, there it goes, triple kill. I might say that was a four streak, not triple kill, my bad. And let's bang these dog tags right here real quickly. Okay, beautiful. But yeah, so far, both weapons in season two are really good. If you haven't seen the Brecci or the KV broadside shotgun video, make sure to go check it out. We did that yesterday. And here is the ISO hemlock, another good weapon if I say so myself. Another must-use weapon, okay, another overpowered weapon. And guess what? I did all of that without even having the good attachments. Okay, look at that, look at that. Okay, almost a double kill. Boom, there it goes. And there it goes, I did end up getting the double kill, but unfortunately somebody else was sniping. And if I'm being honest with you guys, this is definitely one of those weapons that it is a must use, okay, seriously, it is good. Um, now, is it gonna get nerfed like the KV broadside shotgun? No, of course not, it's not that overpowered, but still, it is definitely, definitely usable. It is definitely a good weapon to use, okay? If you're tired of using the same old weapons that uh, launch weapons, you can definitely use this one. It is quite good. Okay, we are winning this game only by one point though, and if I'm being honest with you guys, I barely played the objective. <laughs> You must definitely unlock this weapon in the battle pass, it is free in the battle pass and it is must use weapon. You will be destroying some noobs like you saw in these gameplays. And just to quickly show you guys, you will start at the B1 sector of the battle pass, you have to go to B3, B7 and then on B11 to unlock the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. And like I said, it is definitely worth unlocking and using because it's a very very good weapon. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to see for the like button, 15 call of duty, make sure to subscribe, 10 notification bell and join notification squad. And I'll catch you guys later.